what is this what is this nonsense as you can see there's a little circuit on the floor here and a hmm, is that a reverb tank and a coily cord going to the back of an amp what is going on this is madness this is Sparta. no um what this is is a reverb unit i'm attempting to make I looked at designs on the internet and how it's, you know, everything was like, hmm, oh yes, that would work, hmm, that would work wonderfully, you know, and I was like, hmm, yes. And I was like, one day, you know, I was like, crap, I just need to do this thing. So I was like, well, what do I have? And I had some LM386 chips. That's, uh, you can see the chip peeking out right there. Yeah, there it is. Anyhow, I had two of them, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to build two simple smoky amp circuits, which if you don't know what that is, it's a, uh, let's see if I've got my smoky amp laying around here anymore. Well, I don't. Anyhow, but it's a simple, simple circuit, just the LM386, which is a, uh, a power amplifier integrated circuit and a, and two capacitors, and that's it. And so I was like, okay, I'll build that, but I included these, uh, these trim pots that I had here. So these trim pots, where'd it go? Right there too. They go in the, uh, where on the L on the uh, smoky amp circuit, it's just directly connected. Pin one and eight are directly connected to get as much gain as possible. And I put the little pot in there so you can adjust the gain of it because it was distorting. And okay, well that's very well done. That's all good. I connected the input to one amplifier to my guitar. The other goes to the input transducer of the um, reverb unit, reverb tank. Then on the other amp, the input comes from the output, and then the output goes to the input of the amp. Well, no, lots of inputs and outputs. Gets all confused there. But uh, at first, when I tried it, there was a, way too much bass going to the reverb tank. So I was like, okay, I'll just couple a capacitor, coupling capacitor, capacitor it down. Uh, until I don't, until I get less bass, and that's uh, those are 102 caps. They say 102 on them, so I think that's one UF, one UF each. So they're in series, and that means um, crap. I don't know what that means. I think that, I think you average them or something. Anyhow, um, yeah. So that's that. And then I've got this coil cord running into the back of my pig nose into the power amp section. So into the power amp of a 40 watt tube amp, because this thing puts out way too much power to uh, go into the front end of it. I need to uh, tone it down a bit, put some something. Anyhow, I'll fire this thing up, show you what it sounds like. All right, here I've got the unit. I've got my amp plugged in. Um, I have it upside down because it, otherwise it's not shielded well enough. And. Uh, Let's see, here it goes. <laughs> that um this guitar I should notice a note Yamaha EG112 it's modded as you can see it's got a cut in the bottom these horns are shorter it's gonna get a new pick guard soon because this one's ugly but anyhow I should also note that this thing is not it's set up right now uh, to go into a effects loop a parallel effects loop so um so if I took a mixer 
and put the guitar into the mixer and then put this in the effects loop of the mixer, I could get a regular sound. Uh, but right now it's not set up to do that because I haven't figured that circuit out to and put it in here. But I will do that in the future. And I'll also get the output down enough to uh, put it into the front of the amp. Here we got it now. We've got it set up so that the amps or that the mixer is on the amps effects loop, and this will allow me to uh, hear an overdrive in its tone too. There's a clean, clean and clear. Now let's add the reverb. That just sounds excellent. If I can set up an effects loop, or a, a little miniature uh, parallel loop, and the um, inside of the reverb unit. All right, now here we have um, some overdrive. Let's see how this sounds. Neil Young, of course, uses a uh, Tweed, Tweed era Fender Deluxe. This pig nose is a based off a Baseman circuit, so it's based off a Tweed era Fender circuit. Good humbucker. Reverb, get some feeling the undertone going on. Super cool. Let's play with the let's play with the EQ now. Yeah. 